Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Tiff and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it because I don't want to talk forever and I have a feeling I can talk for a long time. Anyway, I just wanted to put a big old thank you out there to Michelle Galley of Grateful Creations. Michelle does some amazing, beautiful work and she's always experimenting and I think it's just amazing that she shares it with everyone and I was just really grateful when she asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration and uh, we decided on a cloud course because I've just been into cloud course lately so I was elated and uh, we decided to do sunset colors which you probably already know that I don't know if my video is gonna go first or her video but regardless sunset colors which is not a color palette that I always do or ever do I love the colors, but it's just not something I paint with a lot. So oranges, reds, um, pinks, uh, burgundy, and then the white of uh, mixed part. So yeah, and I'll have all my colors and the mixes. Everything will be in the description box. And I also show you my consistencies of the colors and tell you the brands and everything um, in the actual pour video. But I do want to tell you about the cloud mix I'm using. This is not my recipe. This was um, developed or figured out by Harmony House um, that Vallejo Pearl Medium has some awesome effects. So in this specific video, my mix is one part titanium white Amsterdam to paint to one part of the Vallejo Pearl Medium and then two parts of American Floetrol. And there is a little bit of water in there, but that's really just to make sure that my colors and the white are all really similar consistencies. And this is really thick. This is like a three second trace in your cup, you know, when you drizzle it off the stick. So it's a three second trace, nice and thick paint. That's what I like. And what's awesome is Michelle, I think her mix is a lot thinner if I, if I know what cloud mix she's using. It's usually much thinner. So you have two different options. You know, if you really like thin paint, you can totally do Michelle's. If you like thick paint, you can try this Vallejo Pearl Medium. So, um, yeah, so you'll have to let me know what you guys think. And um, I don't wanna keep talking too much longer, <laughs> but um, thank you again for being here. And uh, thank you, Michelle, so much for asking me to do this. I'm really grateful. Thank you for all you newbies that don't know me. <laughs> Thanks for staying and watching. And uh, yeah, I wanna give one more shout out to an amazing artist on Instagram. She does some amazing cloud pours. Her name is Carol, but I'm going to link her Instagram profile down below. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We sincerely appreciate it. Let me know what you think. And, um, <laughs> Hey guys, so here we go. There are my colors right there. And I'm also going to list them in the description box below. So don't stress if you don't get them right there. <laughs> I just wanted to flash them up on screen. So this is my consistency. It's about a three second trace in the cup. It's not super, super thick, but it's not thin by any means. You definitely want your paint to have some body and you want all your consistencies across the board to really match as best as you can. There's nothing worse than getting ready to pour a piece and one of the colors is just a little bit thinner than the rest and it wants to start to not hold its lines if you're doing straight pours or if you're doing ring pours. So yeah, that's really important. So anyway, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I think I used about eight ounces, a little bit more. It was actually a little bit too much paint. I tilted off more than I like to, but I did scrape it up and use it again. So there's the Alizarian Permanent Violet uh, mix. This is Magenta, it's by Amsterdam. I don't use that color very often. It's very bright, very pretty. There's the cloud mix. I was a little nervous because I was like, oh, I don't want too much cloud mix, but I want enough. Because if you don't do enough, you don't quite get that fluffy white stuff. You know, the white puffy clouds. You'll just get like a really pretty um, transparent, translucent, like really translucent cloud. So. This is Deep Gold by Amsterdam. And then the last color back there is Azo Orange by Amsterdam. If you don't have this color and you're an orange lover, you need it. Um, if you're not an orange lover, definitely grab it. But um, I 
I say use it sparingly. Like, I'm just not a big orange fan, but I have to say, after painting this piece, I definitely love it. So then I go in with the white again, and uh, you can see me pour out the rest of the colors. I think you guys get it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be doing this for a minute. Again, it's going to be a straight pour with a twist. And then right at the end, I'm going to do a ring pour. And also, this video is not sped up, really, which is odd for me because I, I really like to speed my videos up a little bit. So if you're watching on the replay, um, absolutely just kind of push forward if you prefer. So, um, but I will be back in a little bit. I'm just going to let you guys watch this one unfold. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below. All right, I'll be back in a little bit.
Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging in with me. You know, like I said, I normally speed my videos up, so this is new for me, letting it just kind of play out. So, uh, yeah, I needed to fix that corner up there. It was kind of a... It looks way worse now with those colors up there. I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to use what was in the cup, and uh, I eventually make it gold, so <laughs> it works out much better. And it dried really pretty. So overall, this piece is pretty much done. Um, you're going to see me kind of continue to futz with it and paint the corners and just clean it up. But um, I love how that center, to me, it looks like a flower, you know, a ranuncula or a peony. But um, yeah, I think I would use this color palette again. And I'm glad that Michelle and I kind of said, let's, eat, let's do sunset kind of palette because it is just not a palette I do at all. But um, this piece dried really beautifully also. I mean, the clouding is just white enough in my opinion. I mean, I, I actually could have liked it a little, a little heavier on the white, but in person it looks even better. Like it dried, I think, prettier than it looks wet, which is rare. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up again and I'll uh, get back here when I do the flyover and uh, yeah, all right. Hey guys, here comes the flyover, so you can really just see up close what these clouds look like. I really do love the color palette and I'm excited to, you know, uh, varnish this in a few weeks. I mean, because those, that gold veining, I love that corner. Ah, it was pretty. But the gold veining dried really beautifully and it looks super cool. So I think once it's varnished, it's going to be great. But you can see there's definitely deeper white parts, more um, opaque white parts. But overall, it kind of has that transparent, fluffy, feel. That Vallejo Pearl Medium is pretty awesome. I really like it. So anyway, guys, that's it. You're going to see some stills, but just let me know what you think of this. Um, and yeah, give me a like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much to Michelle for this amazing collaboration. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And, and again, thanks for hanging out with me. Okay. See ya.